and welcome to Game Over. Plenty of sporting action from around the world, but the first thing is the T20 World Cup has formally moved to Oman and the United Arab Emirates. Oman between 17th October and 24th October, and then the main tournament from 24th October to the 14th of November when the final will be played. It was a foregone conclusion. All of us have been saying this since the day IPL got postponed that India will not risk it. And even if India wants to, there might be uh, international players who will find it difficult to come to India this year. There might be apprehensions. So despite the BCCI wanting to do the T20 World Cup in India, the practical solution was to move the tournament to the United Arab Emirates. And Oman has also entered the fray to host the initial matches. And that is what has been done. So uh, the final result, uh, T20 World Cup between October uh, 17th and November 5th, uh, 14th, 15th in Oman and uh, the United Arab Emirates. Uh, the second news point and very, very important is what happened at the Euros last night. After being down 1-3 till the 75th minute, Switzerland just miraculously came back and took out France, took out France from the European competition. Kylian Mbappe missed a very important penalty and joins not so illustrious list of people, including Roberto Baggio and some of the others. Uh, if you analyze that game, the first 55 minutes belonged to Switzerland. They were very, very good, impressive, dominant team. But thereafter, what happened was France had 20 minutes of brilliance. They had international standard players like Karim Benzema, all of a sudden sort of making uh, a huge impact. Two goals from Karim Benzema within three minutes and then Paul Pogba with an incredible strike at the top corner of the net, making it 3-1. Question is, at that point in time, <coughs> how did the Swiss come back? That comeback was the real story. I for one have to confess did not think that Switzerland would be able to make a comeback. In fact, I tweeted saying it's all over. 81st minute and thereafter again, 90th minute, two goals, match goes into and Kylian Mbappe once again missing a very, very uh, important opportunity in extra time. Match going in into tiebreakers and Switzerland, perhaps the greatest ever victory in Swiss history, taking out the world champions France in the pre quarter final of the Euros. The first game was a goal fest. Spain eventually aging out uh, Croatia. It was a complete goal fest from both sides. People did not even believe. I mean, one goal after another was happening. It was great to see as a competition. But what a complete goal fest it was. Now, the eyes will, everybody's eyes will be England versus Germany. What is the deal? How can anyone sort of do the uh, you know, ignore this particular game. What will happen? England versus Germany is the real big game of the competition. Coming to the third news point of the day, it is the Indian women who will take on the English uh, women again in Bristol. Will the Indian women be able to come back? And if they are able to come back, what will be the team composition? How will they approach the game? Certain key questions, certain very important questions loom large. Indian women will have to make a much, much better batting effort. They'll have to come very hard at the English girls. More importantly, a lot of positive intent has to be shown at the top. Also, the bowlers will have to come good. Bowlers will have to come good so that England doesn't run away with a, with a swift start. Chances are that uh, Poonam Raut might miss out. Mithali Raj bats at number three. Important that the strike is rotated. So real intent, real intent is what is needed from the Indian girls. The final point, three Sri Lankan players who had broken the bio bubble. They have now come back to Sri Lanka. The board has been very strict. They were a flown economy and not business class. And they will now be in quarantine post which uh, they will have to face an inquiry. Uh, Danish Gunatilaka, Kusal Mendes, Nirosha and Dikawala uh, are in the eye of the storm for breaking the bio bubble protocols in England. That's all I have for you today in Game Over. Thank you very much for watching. We will be back tomorrow uh, with Game Over. Plenty of sporting news from across the world, including Wimbledon, where Novak Djokovic has made uh, a rousing start, but uh, Stefanos Tsitsipas has lost out.